I've had the horn bow strapped up with some extra sinew on it uh, for about a week. I've strung it again and you can probably see this right hand limb there is still a bit weak but nowhere near as bad as it was last time. This has been strung for about two and a half hours whereas last time it was this was shown ridiculously weak. The other problem however is that um, it's showing a lot of sideways bend. You can't see it here but if I just flex it there you couldn't see it before but now I've just drawn it substantially and you can probably see there the string has pulled across let's try and get decent video in there I don't know if you can see that how well you can see that but the strings shifted across to that side of the limb which needs sorting out I mean I can, I can bend it back the other way or push the string across but it just returns so it needs it's going to need some heat or building up the weak side with sinew or rasping off a bit of the horn or the sinew or a bit of all three so there's some work to do on it yet but you can see you can see where we are and you can see the progress I've made slow and steady I mean it could probably have done with more than a week for the sinew to harden but it was only a very thin layer. I'm doing a little bit at a time. So this is just a, a little update for you. There, I've just popped the string off and you can see it's showing that all the, the set is there and that's, I'll put a bit of tape on marking that that's where I think the sideways bend's initiating. So I'll build that area up, area up with a bit of extra sinew that side. But um, yeah, we're getting there. I'm rather in need of a project at the moment while the sinew dries on the horn bow. And I was looking at my staves and suddenly realised, um, ah, I think I owe a bow to my mate Rob because he gave me a nice Pacific U stave in exchange for turning this one of his into a wall bow or heavy bow or whatever you want to call it some people don't like the term wall bow it's got a nice bit of character waggle in it here or there with a hint of deflex which I quite like in a heavy bow uh, and you can see it's already quite nicely roughed out so I can crack on with that pretty quickly even looks like I've done a few measurements here and there on it or whatever but um, it tickled me slightly because I wanted to know what draw weight he wanted and I saw on it I'd written Rob any poundage at 32 <laughs> so but um, I have said 100 there I think he'd like 130 if possible but it's a matter of as much as I can get out of the stave the other one I thought I might pick up on was the the one I did a little video on not long back where I was trying to tease a stave out of a very knotty twisty chunk of you but this one will need a bit more roughing out on the bandsaw whereas the one for Rob I can pretty much stick it straight on the tiller a couple of temporary knot grooves either end get it on the tiller see how it moves and then start working it into a bow Right, this is the first look on the tiller. Uh, this is just a roughed out stave that I probably roughed it out, I don't know, ooh, six months ago. It's Pacific U, 76 inches long. Uh, it's a nice looking stave, you can see it's a bit of a knot there, but it's plenty big enough at the minute. I'm looking for 130 pound at 32 inches or whatever I can get out of it over a hundred pound so this is just a quick shifty to see where we are because I haven't touched it for six months mind it didn't have temporary knock grooves in it then so it's obviously never been on the tiller at all there's a couple of little features there's a little 
sort of dark patch there and a, a bit of a blemish and a couple of lines like something had happened to the tree when it was growing but that will probably fall off the side of the boat See right now. Oh, it's under the 10 already so that's 120 a little bit of creaking and popping there uh, could just be bits of cadmium left left on the back of it or splinters or little bits on sharp edges but that's given us an idea it looks like there's well that's 120 looks like there's plenty of timber there to get a decent weight of bow which is nice <laughs>